everybody it's sam here thank you for watching today so i'm going to show you how to make this gatefold pop-up or flap gatefold card i'm not quite sure basically it's just a kind of an upside down version of my drop down gatefold card and then i've added a pop-up inside so you have your triangular gatefold pieces here the card stands up like this obviously you can display your belly band there but then you have this hidden kind of area where you can write your message and there's a little pop-up and i've got a flamingo with balloons because of course you have a flamingo on a bike with balloons at a party really sweet love the detail in this one and um, it's really fun to make i made it during a facebook live my top tip for this card is do not use a directional paper it's much easier <laughs> that way and i'll talk about that in, in more detail so let me show you how to make it so this card's going to be a Christmas card. So I'm using, this is last year's first edition, almost Christmas paper. And I've pulled out this lovely Ponsettia pattern. And I've got some Ponsettia flowers there that I'm going to use as well. But it's really cute. I think this one's still available on Craft Label. I have very few sheets left. It's just all the brown tones. And um, yeah, there's not none of the bright colour anymore. So um, I can't wait to see what they're going to bring out this year. Then for my sentiment inside... I've taken this one, which is from the Card Making Magic Christmas Verses. I've just heat embossed it with like a cream embossing powder. And it says, wishing you sparkle, wishing you cheer for a bright and crazy Christmas and a beautiful new year. And then for the belly band on the front, I've got Season's Greetings, which is from this one here, which is a woodware big Christmas words. I've used this so many times. I bring it out year after year didn't use birthday verses uh, that was for the other cards i thought you might want to know what i used for the large yay inside it's using my made to surprise sentiments and then that was the sentiment inside the card and this is the die for the ponsettias here i've just used the small and medium so there's the small and that's the medium so i've used that size to get the smaller ones but these make beautiful large um, flowers it's really really lovely die set so that's the supplies so first of all you want a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock make sure i'm up there so you're going to score along one of the sides you're going to score at three and nine and then rotate it and you're going to score at six right through the middle there okay Next, you want to fold and burnish your score lines and then you want to remove two of the outer ones. It doesn't really matter which ones. Oh, well, if you, if this is a pattern paper that you're using, then I'll explain in a moment. And I'm removing the score line. And again, just removing the score line. keep these because you'll probably end up using them for the pop-up piece in the middle if you decide to do that so now what's going to happen is that will drop down inside the card so this is if this is a directional paper then make sure it's this way up and you're removing these two top ones but now when i bring that down just burnish that now when you fold these over make sure they fold in really nicely and there's no buckling again see that one there's it's kind of catching so i need to take a little bit more away and i can see i've actually left a little bit of the score line there so i'm just going to come in it's just a tiny amount okay that's much better you want the whole thing to fold flat next we want to cut our shape out of these two pieces here so open it up and grab yourself a ruler and you want to find the halfway point here so three inches just pop very lightly with a pencil and then along this side at three inches and then just join that up you're going to do this on both of the gatefold pieces again very very lightly And then you want to come in half an inch and again just very lightly just mark with a pencil and again here like so what you're then going to do is cut from the corner i'm going to mark this with a pencil just so you, you can see you're going to cut across here now if you want to you can cut 
your triangular pieces right to that score line, but I think it's going to really weaken the card. But if you don't want to do the mats like I'm going to show you next, then you might want to just do it that way. It's entirely up to you. So I'm just marking this off just for the video, really. You can just go and cut this straight away. Okay, so you're now going to remove all of that and all of that. Okay, next just rub out any pencil that you can see. Okay, next you want to start decorating. So these are all of the matte layers which are going to fit into these sections here. And that's the shape. So it's like a triangle shape, but it's got a little bit here. So to get that, you want to cut yourself a piece of two and five eighths by two and three quarters. You want to come in three eighths of an inch and just mark with a little pencil. And then do a pencil line down to the corner cut that piece away and it will give you this piece here and keep that that's now going to be your template for everything now if you've got a non-directional paper for example this one here what you want to do is lay your template down and draw around two in this orientation and then turn it over and then draw around two in that orientation that way it will give you well, if I lay these down first of all this way, you'll have two like that and then two that face that way. Okay, so now I can just place one here, one up there, one there and one there. And then I've cut these ones which are going to go on the front. Now these are directional, so you just need to make sure again that they are all you know facing the right way so i've got two that way and then i've got two down here and then in the middle will be my season's greetings and you can see that matches nicely there with that color so and i'm going to go through that in a moment but i'm going to get these all stuck down Okay, I'm also going to have corners in here, but I wanted to stick this down and then kind of look at the pattern paper again before I decided what I was going to have there. But you can see when that closes down how we're going to have that space. So to get this diamond shape, you want to cut yourself a piece of four and three quarters by five and five eighths of an inch. You want to mark halfway on all four sides. So four and three quarters, you're going to do two and three eighths. So just through the middle there. And then again, along the bottom here. And then along the sides here, this is a bit of a funny measurement because it's two and five eighths. So you're going to mark at, it's just after two and three quarters. It's the little marker just after. So it's, it's not two and five eighths and it's not two and three quarters. It's just in between. And again, along the top, as long as you get roughly in the middle. And then you're just going to cut across from point to point. So like so. Again, if you want to draw a pencil line first, then you can. But you want to do this twice this size because you want one for your belly band, which is what my one is here. And then that one in the middle, which is the same size because the belly band sits perfectly over this piece. Again, rub out any pencil marks that you might have, but you'll see now that that's going to sit over the top, or as good as, maybe I'll pop it that way, because I've cut it by hand. There we go, that's actually better. So it's going to sit over there like that. So do two of them, and then I'm going to stick this one down in the middle of this square. I did do the gold. See that, actually, that I can just check now whether I want to stick with the gold. See, it's Christmas, the gold does look nice. I just thought the cream showed up better. Oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to do gold. I know there'll probably be some of you now saying, no, stick with the cream. Let me know in the comments. Should I have stayed? <laughs> but it is Christmas, so I guess that was where I was going before was to have that gold. So I'm just removing the pencil marks there. So I'm going to stick that down. And if you sit it down with the gatefold closed, that way you know you're going to get it in the centre. I think I need to trim a little bit off of this side. You also know if it's buckling, it's just lifting, like rolling the sides there. So I'm going to take a little bit off that side. 
So that's in place. Next, I'm going to stick this piece inside, which is five and three quarters by five and three quarters. I'm then going to get some gold card and mats around that and stick that in the middle. So this piece is two by three and a half. It depends on your sentiment. But then I do two and a quarter by three and three quarters in gold. And I'm going to stick that down in the middle. Okay, so I have stuck down the blue on here, which I think looks really nice. I love the contrast of the two together there. And then I've also stuck down this piece, which again was five and three quarters squared. And then when you would have just seen me then just stick in the poinsettia flowers there and I've got some little sprigs. And then I've got my belly band. And I'm gonna talk you through the pop-up, but I don't think I'm actually gonna do the pop-up on this one. I think I'm gonna keep it plain, but I'm gonna show you what I did on the other one. This here's one and a half by 12. And I'm just going to sit my card over the top and I want to make sure the belly band's in the middle here. And I'm just going to just wrap it around. Don't really pull it. Just let it kind of just naturally fold around. Don't worry that it doesn't join. And if yours is maybe 11 inches, a little bit shorter, it'd be fine. This is then going to sit over the top and you want to line it up with that one below. So I'm just going to pop because my hot glue's on. I'm just going to pop. A blob of hot glue on each side which is going to be enough and then I'm just going to sit this over the top like so and just kind of hold that there for a second and then you can just carefully slide that off I always like to burnish you see it's quite bouncy you can keep it like that if you want but I just like to burnish it and then I'm just going to pop a little bit more glue now on the very end there just to secure it a little bit more. So now I've got a really cute belly band and that would actually look quite nice, maybe around a vase or something at Christmas time. I might put some glitter on that as well. Okay, so I've changed my mind and I'm gonna have a pop-up because I was a bit unsure if I was or not. This is the size of the pop-up that I used inside this one here. So if I open it up, you'll see that that little kind of rectangle kind of tube inside is a half an inch on each, on all four sides. So if you want to just have your pop up just small like that, because I've got something tall, I needed to make sure that when it goes flat, it doesn't pop out the top. So that's why I've got a small one. That's a piece of two by two and it's scored at every half an inch. So half an inch, one and one and a half. Fold and burnish till you have something like this. I'm going to add some more of these flowers, but I'm not going to add shapes in. So if you can see these are quite dimensional where I've just added some shapes to the leaves. I'm going to keep this flat because it's going to go inside. But the idea I've had is that they're going to pop up like so. Maybe the bigger one's going to have to go near the bottom actually because it needs to attach to the square. And then I'm going to have that one there and I've got some of the sprigs. So I've got this one, which is a piece of four by two. And along the four inch side, I've scored at every one inch. So one inch, two inches and three. Again, fold and burnish. You will attach whatever size you want exactly the same way that I'm going to do this. So I'm just going to pretend it's stuck down for the minute. because I just want to make sure I can attach. Yeah, I think that's going to look quite nice. OK, so I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going to add 
glue all to the bottom there. And if you fold the whole thing in half, you're going to add glue on the other side. So to both of the outer pieces, so you have your fold in the middle. These two, no glue on. You just want the glue on the pieces on the open end. You then want to sit this in. I'm not sticking it down yet. I've got it on an angle, but I'm butting it right up to that score line and make sure it's in the middle. And then just kind of sit that one down and then close the card. Just give that a minute to dry. Okay, and then when you open the card, you'll have your pop-up piece. And that's ready for you to stick whatever you want to it. And I think I'm just going to be able to attach and then that one will stick. I might have three actually. I might just die cut two more because they're going to stick like this. And then I might have another one up here. So I only need to add a little bit of glue to there. And once you stick something to it, just make sure that it closes like so. And then that one I'm going to have down there as well. It's just going to add a bit more stability. Like so. And then I'm going to get another one die cut and have that on there. And then I'm just going to have these sprigs coming out from behind. Okay, so there's the pop-up all done. I'm not going to add the flat back pearls to this because they're hard and I'm worried because they're dimensional, they're going to leave a mark on this part here. So I'm going to use Nuvo Drops on that, but I'll do that and you'll see it in the, the photos. But that's the inside. So that all closes down and then the sides. You don't have to add the belly band if you want to just pop it in a box envelope, you can do. But that's how it will be displayed. There is also that way as well. If someone decides to, it's entirely up to them. And then it's all held together with the belly band. So there you have it, two fun gatefold cards with that hidden pop-up. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial from me today. I'll try and link as much of the product that I've used in the description box. I'll have some other pop-up cards coming up now, so you might want to watch those next. And as always, if you've enjoyed today and you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you click the subscribe button and then hit that notification bell next to it, it will go red and then that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.